Oh, hey, I, I made some killer meatloaf the other day. This meatloaf was really good. The problem with it is that my mouth tasted like meatloaf for the entire day. And I had those, like, disgusting burps you get, like, 10 hours later, you go, mm, like that, and you're like, oh, meatloaf. Good meatloaf. But it just, your entire system just absorbs the essence of meatloaf. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. I will never, ever put ketchup on my meatloaf. I don't know why Americans do it, but let's like, you take the meat sauce from the gravy. Uh, you made the meat sauce that forms in the pan, dump it into a frying pan, add some flour, add some peppers and stuff like that, and you just, you know, fry it up and just gravy, you know? So, American meatloaf is just hamburgers then? <laughs> it's just shitty hamburgers? <laughs> okay. Just ketchup. All right. Well, you just cook a, cook a burger patty then. It's basically like a giant burger. All right. You should take photos of the stuff you cook and post it more often. I'm curious how it looks. My photos of food would look like autopsy photos of dead bodies. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, because it's like whenever you look at food pictures, they're always like super high contrast, nice. And you see like the steam rising on it. And you got this little parsley on it. And it's just like Mwah, appetizing for me, though. I'm just like, yeah, mashed potatoes. <laughs> right on the plate i'm just like meatloaf and no goddamn veggies i'm just like that's it that's a man's meal last time we did this uh i believe my my, my turtle died uh and that was made me sad and made me have a bad day wait a minute no 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 no! i'm talking shit franklin was hurt but then we nursed him back to health i'm playing with your emotions right now he's fine the turtle is back to life hey joel do you know what you're in postal for yeah somebody threw in a desert bus reference on a texture and the top left driver thing says jobles that's been crazy I, i've been i've been featured as an easter egg in team fortress 2 and now postal 4 i it, it honestly makes me uncomfortable i gotta be honest with this i i i feel like these are unreasonable things that i i i, I play these games but i would never be able to interact with them in any sort of like existential way and knowing that people who make games watch me it's like that freaks me out i'm like whoa, whoa, whoa what you know, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Like, you know, I, 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 I don't think of myself as talented. I think I'm a piece of fucking shit. And knowing that people that make games watch my content, it freaks me. I'm like, what? I always feel like there's people out there who do such a fucking good job. And I, I don't do shit. <laughs> and people still watch me? I'm like, what? Okay. Well, I mean, I got nothing but but, but incredible kudos and, and, and thanks for people that, that choose to do that. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I just get so overwhelmed. You know, I get so overwhelmed, man. There's a community map in Team Fortress 2 that Valve chose to include into uh, its rotation of maps. Again, Valve didn't do this map. It's a community map that they chose to include in the Halloween update. And the creator of that map chose to include a Vinny reference, a Undertale reference, and a little Varg Shroom that's, like, unreachable on the map. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's very it's very humbling and all that, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's crazy. Oh, and Jeremy got reference, too. Yeah, absolutely, man. All right, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to draft everybody and try to kill the most crazy animal that I know. Fire away! It doesn't, it doesn't do shit. Oh, well, let's just go slaughtering a bunch of animals now. Do you think I could take down this elephant if we all organize and shoot the shit out of it? Yeah, but be careful. All right. <laughs> this could be life and death, guys. I have an idea. If this thing charges at me, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm just going to stand there uh, and run inside. Hopefully it gets caught in a trap here. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> this poor elephant. You know, an elephant never forgets. <laughs> you guys know that? <laughs> Elephants have the best memory. And this elephant is going to remember this sh bullshit. And tell his friends if we don't succeed. Oh, this poor elephant. How do you do this? Babar, no. <laughs> it it's going to be pissed off, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 we did it. It. Shoot it in the head! <laughs> Stop firing at its like feet! Just shoot it in the brain! In the head! Stop! What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> well, good work, guys. Jesus. 
Well, that one better, better than expected, actually. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're scaring an elephant, guys. It's fine. Yo, why the fuck did you just drop the fucking thing? Just, just get it in here. We need to eat this thing, man. There was a guy who made alcohol with his beard as the ingredient. S excuse me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you have to be a little bit more elaborate than that. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Some barbecue pit boy shit. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, well, whoever wants to make a... <laughs> Over here, we're eating a panther and elephant stew tonight, boys. He made beer from his yeast cultivated from his own beard. That seems like some one of those, like, uh, things you read on the internet, like... Man makes beer out of his own foot sweat. Oh my god. Oh no. Two of your colonists have gotten sick from flu. Ensure that you have medical bed and the doctor. Make sure that they got proper treatment and spend as much as time as possible. Oh shit. Well, it's just a flu. Famous last words. German made his own beer. It's called Germa Juice. <laughs> it's a pee joke. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? Nothing much. Just Germa Juicing. It's poppin' gamer juice. Germa Juice these nuts. Uh, I'll tell you a funny thing. I was I was partying at Bacon's and uh, he went to sleep. We kept drinking, <laughs> even though Bacon was asleep. <laughs> and <laughs> and I don't know why the fuck I did this, but uh, Bacon's friend and I we went to his kitchen and we we're like, dude, let's make the worst shot ever. Like we weren't thinking rational. We we're like, yeah, let's do it, man. So we took <laughs> we took soy sauce, hamburger dressing, orange juice, toothpaste, chili sauce. And we put black pepper in it, and then we shook it up, and we're like, I fucking dare drink this. And we fucking both took a shot of it, and I'm like, dude, we're, I'm so drunk that I don't feel it. Gargle blaster, gargle, gargle blaster, exactly. That's Joel juice, everybody. And you make fun of us for smoking weeds? When have I ever made fun of you guys for smoking weed? Right now. Listen, if you, if you, wanna, if you wanna inject crack into your eyeballs, who am I to judge? <laughs> Offended stoners. <laughs> Could you? I, I can't imagine a bunch of like hippies <laughs> being offended. That's very contradictory. Like, I, I mean, I, this is very ass ass assuming of, of people who do drugs and all that. That, but like in my head, if I make fun of someone who does that stuff, and they're like, "Shut the fuck up, bitch! You will fucking die!" I'm like, "Well, that's not very peaceful of you, hippie." <laughs> Pulls out a gun. Say that one more time. I can game all I want. Ch -ch -ch. <laughs> That's not very cash money. Talking about drugs is the least thing I want to do on stream, but I just want to say one one thing that cracks me up. The other day I found out there's a social network for people who smoke weed, and I had this hysterical idea in my head. Imagine if it was just made by the police to bust people. Like, <laughs> it's just like, oh, this this hot, like, uh, gamer chick smokes weed, I'm gonna meet her, and so suddenly, Ch -ch FBI, we caught you smoking, dude! What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, how about <laughs> imagine? <laughs> imagine, because there's there's like a network for for a, a, a every kind of dating service these days, right? Like there's 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 dating for like uh, you know that, and there's this and that. But imagine a gaming, a gamer dating website, dude. Fuck, I shouldn't say this. I'm I'm fucking. I should be banking mega books on this shit. I should register a pan and a thing and be like, uh, the, the, the gamer fuck zone. Do you want to level up and not be a noob in your love life? We got the cheat codes to activate your penis. Hot gamer chicks. Hot gamer dudes. You want to get some gamer cock? Well. <laughs> In Sweden, we ha we've had this TV uh, series that has gone on for a fuck ton of time. We've had a show. It's essentially farmer meets wife. <laughs> and it's like The Bachelor. But it's on a fucking farm. It's like, well, what's, what, what's our common interests? Yeah, I like them. Uh, I like to uh, get that cow shit out of the barn. I like to milk a chicken. I like, to <laughs> I like beans. <laughs> Taters. <laughs> That's so hot. Oh my god. You like to go in the barn and mop up cow shit tail? That's so crass, dude. What? That's so hot. Oh my god, Becky. I found the cutest guy at the mall. His name is Cletus. <laughs> and he just loves beans. And he lives on a farm. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, we we guys, we butchered the uh, the elephant. They gave us seventy five elephant meats. Well, that's fantastic. A group of unification of Eastern uh, visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Oh, well, well, good thing because guys, I have a ton of cocaine to sell to you. Cocaine for six hundred bucks. All right, that's not that's not a ton of money, but I can get a doomsday rocket launcher. <laughs> Do you guys want to buy this? Starts fires. Yeah, no. It's shit. It's 20 tiles. It blows up about a, a quarter of the screen. <laughs> okay. I, I kind of want to get this. Oh, hey, Tony. What's, what's going on, man? Hey, Tony. Later, Tony. I wonder, is there a mod to make this game harder? I.e., you need seeds for this and bullets for weapons. There is. How incredibly masochistic. Let's make this even more, like, brutal, you know? An involuntarily hermit named Riesling calls you from nearby. She's being chased by tri people from the Orange Owl Kurga camp. She bids you safety and offers to join your colony. She tells you he's 88 years old, <laughs> but there's no time to collect more information. Be warned, if you accept, you have to fight off the tri people on her trail. She was a three archers. Ooh. 88 years old? Granny! Old granny. Cocaine granny. Ignore. Okay, fine. Recently screams in panic through the teeny speakers before you caught up transfer. Granny! Granny, no! <laughs> You'll never get my my sweet pie! Oh no! The medicine! The medicine! <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I was ready to start building a fucking grave out here in the fields. Because I'm like, all right, you're so old. I mean, I'm going to start building your house and a grave. This is like one foot. Complete global lactation. Shit.